Hello and welcome again on Mixers Inside YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Bozak IR4 DJ Mixer. It's a very very nice looking DJ Mixer, it's 4 channel, looks very luxurious. Many people consider this mixer high-end because of the looks. I also had very high expectations before disassembling it. The connectors on the rear panel look pretty standard. They are gold-plated, that's a nice thing. XLR sockets are made by Neutrik Germany. It's a very nice and solid company. But well, this is boring, let's have a look inside. The mixer is based on a couple of boards linked together by some cables. Here we can see the input board. Then signals go to four channel boards, because it's a four channel mixer. Then all the signals from four channel boards are summed on the main board. Here is headphone amplifier. Isolator. VU meter and output board. There is also an external power supply I'm going to show you now. The power supply is a DC-DC switching converter in flyback topology. That means it's not linear. There is a popular myth that linear power supplies are better than switching ones and I must disagree with this, but I will cover this topic in next episodes. You can buy exactly the same power supply from Minwell company. It's pretty cheap and it's just okay. Definitely not high-end. It was not designed by Bozak and it's worth to mention that original Bozak mixer had linear power supplies. Now let's jump to input board. Input board is responsible for routing and conditioning all the signals that come to the mixer. By conditioning, I mean amplifying all the sensitive signals that can come from the turntables or from the microphone and making their levels right. Here we can see the heart of the phono preamp, TL072 chip. It's a very popular low-cost chip used in many audio applications. Phono preamp is op-amp based single-stage active solution. It is the most common solution used in phono preamps. Plastic body RCA sockets is a very popular choice in low and medium price equipment. Now let's get to the channel board. Channel board receives the signal from the input board and let you regulate the volume and equalize it. Channel equalizer is a free band 12 dB per octave isolator. It makes the EQ control very versatile. The brand of film capacitors remains unknown for me. All the signals from four channels are getting summed in the master board. Four channels are plugged into the summing buses with an IDC connector. And now, time for the only solution taken from the original Bozak thing. It's a summing amp, discrete one. It appears only on the master bus. The Q bus is op-amp based. Master board also controls the main and booth volume and sends the signal to the headphone amplifier and the isolator. On the master channel there is a free band 18 dB slope isolator. It's a bit more steep than channel board isolators and that means that you can isolate the frequencies more accurately. I will deeply cover the isolator steepness topic in the next episode. It uses very very high quality Alps potentiometers it's ERCA 27 model, and yes, this is what I can call high-end. Now you have 5 seconds to guess the model of an op-amp. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Output board has two functions. It receives the voltages from external power supply and then regulates it with LDO regulators. Nice decision that can help and won't hurt anybody. The second function is obviously letting the signal out. Last board is headphone amplifier, cheap based one. It's a simple, efficient, low cost solution. I strongly recommend upgrading it by placing low value resistors right after the output. It will make the circuit stable under any circumstances. 
I almost forgot about Matterboard. Let's appreciate the beauty of it. It shows the signal levels and makes the mixer look really nice. I've put the music down because I need you to focus. Before showing you the measurements, I want to make the things clear. Let's talk about the simplest signal possible. Sine wave. It's commonly used in measurements because it's pure. As you can see in frequency domain, it has only one peak. You can simply measure linearity of the device by feeding it with the sine wave and observing the output. Every device you can get is non-linear in some level. The less linear the device is, the more harmonics you will get. Perfectly linear devices don't exist. THD, Total Harmonic Distortion, is the most popular way of judging the device linearity. The more linear the device is, the more accurate reproduction of audio signal you get. I will now feed the mixer line input with 2V RMS sine signal. 2V RMS is a standard output level of CDJs. Master level knob is on maximum and I will raise the signal level with channel volume knob. I raise the volume till zero on the matter. And I get minus 65 dB of THD. Now I will raise the signal till peaking. And I get about minus 61 dB of THD. Is it high? Well, yes, it's pretty high. Compared to other mixers, it's really high. It's a very non-linear device. But in my opinion, Bozak engineers made it on purpose. Because it sounds warm. You may call this sound full. You may call this sound fat. For me, the clearest term is saturated. My intuition tells me that the block that makes this device so non-linear is discrete summing amp. Coming back to the spectrum, I think that it's not coincidence that second harmonic is the highest one. Our ear considers second harmonic and even harmonics as pleasant. That's why people like tubes. That was theory. Now let's listen to it. I will now feed the sine wave with significant amount of harmonics and see if you can hear the difference. No harmonics. Now I've added harmonics. Now let's apply the same effect on the music. No harmonics. With harmonics. The music is such complicated signal that you won't see this effect on the spectrum. That's why we previously used sine wave for measurements.
as you can hear saturation is really fun, but should it be so expensive? As a summary of this video, I would like to see your comments. What do you think? Should the DJ mixer have its own sound signature? Or should it be completely transparent? Thanks for watching and see you next time!